How you going team? Summertime's here and uh, I know this isn't in the bush or out in the ocean but I just thought I'd uh, share my thoughts on how to keep organic vegetables uh, as clean and green as we can. Now with brackises, cabbages, you know your cabbages, your broccolis, your collies, all those sorts of uh, lovely, lovely vegetables that we like to eat at this time of year. Um, we have that white bloody butterfly. Well, I know down here in South and we do and I'm presuming that anything I grow in South and you can grow all through Aotearoa, New Zealand. So um, I'd just like to share with you guys an idea that I, I thought of. It keeps the birds out. It might keep the old white butterfly or we call it a moth. I think it is a moth. I'm not too sure. I'm sure someone will correct me on that. But um, yeah, have a look at what we've developed down here and see what you reckon. Yeah, so on this raised garden bed I planted some brackises in April and it took probably five months to harvest over winter. It is quite a, uh, a brachises are a lovely vegetable to grow in winter time because they're frost hardy but um, in the winter time you don't have so many pests but now that it is the beginning of December summertime um, I've moved them out of the garden bed because I've got carrots and corn and you know you gotta plant corn in the heat so I've put them into these tubs. Now I've just put some um, some bird netting over them and pea straw, no weeds, weed star, the weeds are starved of sunlight by the straw so therefore the seeds don't germinate and yeah fingers crossed that this plan here works so I've just banged in four pegs, you can pick this up at any hardware store, sort of down here would be Diax, support the locals and um, I've got another one over here, again um, Brackises, you can grow them in the tunnel house. I've just got a, a handmade tunnel house here, just out of bits and pieces that I've made. And you know, I've got grapes and tomatoes, and it's a real good time of year to plant all those uh, not so frost hardy plants that you guys in the subtropics get to plant as much as you want. So, yeah, I don't know, just thought I would share that with you guys, give it a nudge. How's your veggie gardens getting on? I know mine is. Doing okay, we could do with a bit more heat. The lawns definitely need mowed, potatoes are all flowering, Christmas spuds are ready. So, but yeah, these broad beans, I planted them in April. So what are we in December, and the kids are picking away at them now. If you get into them nice and early, they are quite sweet. Uh, if you leave them, then they go quite woody and hard, but get your corn in guys. It's definitely time. I put a heap of chicken manure in here. I'm trying to go as organic as I can. I did slug slam. I just had enough. So, but if you want some more gardening videos, I can uh, show you my secrets. Well, they're not really secrets. They're just what I've sort of figured out and what my dad taught me and what my granddad used to do. And uh, yeah, ask some questions. Yeah.